Morning, everybody, and welcome to the celebration of fine art. We love this event. Every year we uh, come on out, and uh, we're at the, uh, s the corner of Scottsdale Road, or rather, uh, the 101 and Hayden, the 101 and Hayden, and this is where you get to see artists at work doing their work right in front of your face, fine artists like <laughs> Bryce Pettit. And uh, Bryce, good to see you, friend. And now, you work in bronze, yes. but bronze doesn't just happen. That's right. It starts in clay, right? Yes. You sculpt it in clay to begin with, and then you go through a 12 step casting process to get it into bronze. But well, this is the beginning. This is one in one. I'm works. always so fascinated. You could give me 40 pounds of clay like you've got here, <laughs> I could work at it all day. I could build you like a snowman, yeah. maybe. <laughs> is this already happening in your mind? Is this coming from life or from a photo or? You've seen bears your whole life. How does it work? I spend a lot of times out in the woods. I live in Colorado and spend my winters here in Arizona. Um, it's all part of it. Mm -hmm. My experiences as well as images that I want to create and stories I want to tell. Boy, now, now tell me about this piece. It's very large, about six feet or so. Yep. Who is this guy? This is a black bear. Uh, this is a piece I worked on last year and had it cast for this year. Yep, this is my buddy Bob the Bear. Boy, Bob is, uh, he is impressive. And, uh, hey, thanks for, uh, this is one of, is this a Roadrunner? Is that a looking road runner, One yes. of Arizona's favorite friends, for sure. Um, and you, where is your studio, by the way? I live in Colorado, in Durango, Colorado. But my gotcha. studio in the winter is here in Scottsdale yeah, at the and, Celebration of Fine Art. And uh, real quick, give me 20 seconds on how this works. You're sequestered here like, a, like the OJ jury, yeah. sort of. <laughs> uh, what happens? Well, this show is unique because we have a chance to meet with different collectors. They come and they can see us working. They can see the process and we're able to explain our story, tell about what it is that we're passionate about, what we love to do, and just interact in a, in a real different it's way. It's really fun. Well, thanks for sharing your talent with us. And by the way, I always like to point out, look at the other suspects here. Look, actual artists. They're in, we, we like to catch them in the wild. Uh, you don't often see them like this, but uh, they are happy to be up early, and we're going to see some of their art as well. More coming your way from the Celebration of Fine Art in just a few. All right, Corey's out at the Celebration of Fine Arts Festival in Scottsdale. Mm, it's a great spot. People watching, art watching. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And the people watching is always fun and so fun to see these artists at work. This is, I think, 26 years or 28 years for this event. And uh, look, Here's the big brain behind it all, Susan Poget. We get together every year, and congrats on gathering so many great artists, and they all want to come. I'm sure the, the selection process is uh, difficult for you. Well, what makes a great artist? What makes a good selection for this crowd? Excellent question. Now, I well, mean, besides the obvious yes. physical beauty. They must be wonderful artists. Sure. Um, they also, we really jury for variety. So we want our guests to be able to come here and see a little bit of everything from sculpture to paintings to mm -hmm. jewelry to wood turning and also variety of styles. So you might like Western I might like Impressionism, uh -huh. and we all can come together and find something we love. So we're looking for great people who are excellent artists and a wide variety of styles and mediums, and the people who are willing to make the commitment to being here, because we're open for 10 weeks, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day, and the artists are here working pretty much every day throughout the show. Yeah, and, and people should know, too, that uh, if Southwestern art is what you love there are many fine artists doing that here but it's not all that it's not a Correct. southwestern show Correct. so to speak yes and what we do is we jury because we're so fortunate with the years we've been here we get a lot of referrals from other artists and we're jurying to find the best we can in each genre so when you walk in the tent you're going to know that we've got the best of the um, southwest art we've got the best of the impressionism and so forth and contemporary we've got a lot of contemporary for a lot of homes are changing styles mm -hmm. now, and, and that's a big booming area as well. Yeah. Well, I know throughout every week you've, you've got some special events going. Fridays are pretty special here. Tell me about it. Yes. Them. Every Friday from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock, we have what we call the Art Discovery Series. And it's we put together panel discussions of artists about a certain topic. And then... What might be an grow, example? So, for example, we have Abstraction Attraction coming up on February 9th. And it talks about abstract art and what... Abstract artists really have to know how to be a classical artist to be a good abstract artist. Uh, we have one called Portrait Perfect and Custom View about 
making a commission to have maybe your family's portrait oh, done, yeah. or it could be a landscape of your favorite place. We talk about how to make that successful. Um, the lure of the light is about all about plain air. You might have seen a few of the artists here as we panned around that do beautiful landscapes. Mm -hmm. Many do that in plain air, which means out in the light. Right. So we're going to share all that each Friday from 4 to 5. We do a little bit of wine and cheese, mm -hmm. and people can enjoy an art discussion. And they can really get involved in that as well. Very good. And we're open every day, 10 to 6, right? 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. Rain or shine. That's uh, that's a.m. to p.m., you art people. There, a lot of them are night crawlers. Yes, they may have yes. gotten it mixed up. Yes. But uh, oh, we love what you do. And thank you all for sharing all of your talents. Come see them all at work again at the corner of the 101 and Hayden uh, right over here in Scottsdale. It's a great couple of months, and you'll be... Uh, Glad you came. All right, see you soon, everybody. All right, sounds good. Look Beautiful at those stuff out happy there. faces. I know. Love that.